Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to execute Selenium ID automation script on Google Chrome browser. When you execute Selenium ID test script, by default, Selenium ID script runs on Firefox because Selenium ID is Firefox plugin. In this example, I opened the login test case which I created in earlier video tutorial. In this test case, we have multiple steps. So open command is used for opening the base URL. Then the type command is used for entering the username admin into the username field. This type command is for entering user password into the password field. And click and wait. You'll click on the login button. Then we wait for element present, link equals logout, then we assert element present. Now let's execute the test case and observe the result. For demo purpose, I changed the test step execution speed from fast to slow. Now I click on the button. Play current test case. So site navigation is done. Now admin, password, and login button is clicked. Now the logout link is displayed. So that means the test script is working fine. And if we look at the log, we can observe each step in the log as well. So there is no failure, the test passed. In some cases, you need to run test cases on different browser for testing browser compatibility, such as you run your test script on Google Chrome browser. So now let's look at how we can execute the test script on Google Chrome browser. In order to run Selenium ID test case on Google Chrome browser, we need to use standalone server. So these are the steps you need to follow. Step one, you download the Selenium server standalone version 2.53.1.jar and you can download the jar file from this URL. After you download the jar file, you save the jar file in a folder, name it Selenium standalone server and this folder is in the D drive. So this is the website you need to visit and you download the Selenium dash server dash standalone dash 2.53.1.jar. Step two, you need to download the Chrome driver and save it under the folder where we saved the Selenium stand alone server jar file. So you can download Google Chrome by Googling a web page. 
let's say open a browser then type in google.com then you type download chrome driver then on the first download is chrome driver dash web driver for chrome you open the site and you click on chrome driver link then from this link you click on chrome driver underscore win 32.zip once you download the zip file you extract the chrome driver.exe and then save this file in the folder step 3 you need to open the command window with administrator privilege and execute this command so java dash d is capital web driver dot chrome dot driver equals chrome driver dot exe then dash jar selenium dash server dash standalone 2.53.1 dot jar so this will execute or launch the selenium standalone server with chrome driver So after you download the Selenium standalone server jar file and Chrome, you will see two files in the folder. So this is Chrome driver.exe and this is the jar file. And the test case I use is login underscore test underscore case dot html. After we follow step 1, 2 and 3, we need to open Firefox browser, we already opened here, then launch Selenium ID, we already launched Selenium ID, then we need to choose option and specify Chrome in the web driver tab, then you need to restart Firefox and Selenium ID. So now let's look at this step. So from the Selenium ID, I open options, then choose options, then on web driver, I check enable web driver playback, then change the Firefox to Chrome. Now I click on OK. As mentioned, I save the test case. Then I close Selenium ID and close the Firefox browser because I need to start them again. So now let's open Mozilla Firefox. Then from Tools menu, open Selenium ID. And from file, I open recent test case, login test case dot HTML. So now we need to run the Selenium standalone server jar file. So as mentioned on the file we need to use this command line so basically enter the folder where we save it the jar file then type java dash d web driver dot chrome dot driver equals chrome driver dot exe then dash jar selenium dash server dash standalone dash 
0.1.jar. Now I press enter. Let's see if we can make the font bigger. Let's do 20 here. Okay. So now this is the command I will execute on the command prompt with the administrator privilege. So I press enter. So now the info said launching a standalone Selenium server. And currently we use the Chrome driver. Now the Selenium server is up and running. So now on the Selenium ID, let's execute the test case. Let's do the speed slow, then click on play current test case. So as you see, the Chrome browser opened, navigated to the base URL, now admin and password, now login. Now logout link is displayed. So if we look at the Selenium IDE, the test case is completed and the status is 1. That means the test passed. And on this command window, we will see the result from each step. Let's say creating new remote session, then allocated session, open this site, got result OK, is open. Now type this result is OK, another type ID, this result is OK. Now click on login button, result is OK. Is element present, link equals logout. This Result is OK. And then we assert is element present. Now result is OK. So from this window, you know that the test ran on Google Chrome and test result is successful. So this is how you can run Selenium ID test case with Google Chrome browser. However, you will encounter few limitations. When you run Selenium ID script with Google Chrome browser, you may see some limitations as shown on the website here. So on this website, the limitations is multiple browser windows will be opened and will remain open. Test may not pause or exit on errors. And an alert message may pop up for conditions. So these are the limitations. And it's ideal that you just run one test case at a time. So your test case will run only on one window. So you will avoid seeing multiple windows. Maybe the future version will fix all the problems. But for now, this is how you can run Selenium ID test case with Google Chrome browser. For more video tutorial, you can always enroll the class at seleniummaster.teachable.com or you can do paid subscription on the YouTube channel 
www.youtube.com slash c slash selenium master usa thanks for watching